Hi guys and welcome back to another Misfit Makers Besties tutorial. Today we're going to be doing water slides, working with water slides, and talking about water slides, okay? Uh, before we get into this really simple tutorial, this is a very easy basic water slide tutorial, I want to tell you guys the difference between an inkjet printer and a laser printer. So when I first started making tumblers, I just used my inkjet printer. I have an HP printer that I got from Walmart um, on a Black Friday sale. It was like $30, okay? Do not think that you have to go out and spend tons of money on a fancy printer when you're just starting out. Make it work, okay? <laughs> um, if you just have an inkjet printer, that's fine. That's totally fine. Now, with that being said, with your inkjet, you will have to seal those water slides. So after you print your water slides out, take them outside. I sealed them with Rust-Oleum Clear Spray Sealer and probably like three times. Let that dry, then you're good to go. Now, when your time, when you're ready to upgrade, I would suggest getting a laser printer. That is going to save you so much time in the long run because let's say you mess up a water slide, right? It rips on you. It tears on you. It, it, the ink starts running because you don't have it sealed and you have to reprint it. Think about all that time. You can't just reprint it and then apply it. You have to reprint it and then go seal it, seal it, seal it again, right? With the laser printer, you can just print and go. So I do have, and oh, one more thing, guys, you can print on 651 permanent vinyl. So I would highly suggest when you're ready to upgrade to get a uh, laser printer. I have a brother. I love it. I got it from Office Max. The model number starts with HL. I can post the entire model number below in the subscription box. But for all the water slide tips, watch the tutorial. So let's get started. Hey friends. All right. Let's jump right in because I want to try to fit as many tips and tricks and knowledge into one little video as possible along with I want to talk about this design, okay? So let's jump right in because you guys know I'm a talker, so let's see if I can do this. All right, so first things first, I want to talk about the design I'm doing. Welcome to St. Louis. For anybody that doesn't know me, I, that's where I'm from, that's where I live, St. Louis, Missouri. I have preached this and I have said this over and over again. This is a business tip, a bus business advice to grow your business. People love this style tumbler. People went crazy over it. I sold over 200, 300 of these things around Christmas time. It's just crazy. Not only St. Louis, I did multiple cities. So wherever you live, if you live in a really small city, like if there's like population of seven people and five of them are like cows, then do the state. Don't just do the city, okay? But pick popular places. Like, I have all popular p places around St. Louis, like St. Louis Zoo, Anheuser-Busch, uh, sports teams, Toasted Raviolis, The Arch, all the places that St. Louis is known for on a cup, okay? I'm telling you guys, you guys will sell the heck out of them. So if you're trying to grow your business, you're trying to get your name out there, little advice from me to you do something like this. If you do, make sure you tag me on social media so I can see it and so I can share it so you can grow your business, okay? Okay, so now water slide talk. Let's talk about water slides. Let's first start talk about applying water slides and then we'll go into the printers that I use, okay? So I have a bowl here and I'm going to tell you to fill it up with warm water. Now, I use the same bowl over and over again. Okay, did you hear that? <laughs> I use the same water over and over again, okay? I let it sit down here for days. So is my water always warm? Absolutely not. But it makes me feel better when I say I start out with warm water, okay? <laughs> but room temperature water will be just fine. You're going to want to cut your water slide paper out or your image out. And I put it in my bowl of water upside down first because sometimes it likes to curl. And then I flip it over. That image will slide right off when it's ready, okay? So if your image is not sliding off, 
that means it's not ready. It's not ready. Just let it soak. Sometimes I'll throw like two or three in there if I'm moving quickly, but be careful because if the water slides are in the water too long, they will come off of the backing all the way and they'll start like rolling up on you and it will be a mess. Okay. All right. So got all that down. Easy peasy, right? All right. Once you apply your water slide to your cup, it's very important that you get all of that water out from underneath your decals, okay? So I like to pat, pat, pat with a paper towel and then slide the water out, making sure that it is super dry. Take your time doing this. Okay, moving on. The difference between white water slide paper and clear water slide paper. Clear water slide paper is for white tumblers, white backing, or very light colored backing. I honestly only use clear water slides if the if my tumbler's white, okay? Because it's clear. It's going to pick up whatever color is behind it. White water slides, you will have to print to cut with your cutting machine or cut right around the image perfect to apply on a colored base. So if you had black glitter, you would want a white water slide. Okay, let's talk printers. So I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, you're going to wanna eventually invest in a laser printer. Okay, it's just gonna make your life so much easier, but if you're starting out, you're first starting out, you are stretching pennies, you are asking for these things for Christmas, just save for it. Put it on your Christmas list, save for it. It is not a, I need this to grow my business, okay? Does it make your life easier? Yes. Is it a necessity? No. So go pick yourself up a $30 printer from Walmart, from the Wally World, and you'll be just fine. I started with a HP inkjet. I got it on a Black Friday sale at Walmart for $30, and I used that thing for years. Now, if you have an inkjet, you will have to seal your water slides. So I recommend sealing them with a minimum of three times with Rust-Oleum Clear Spray Sealer, waiting at least 15 minutes in between each seal. So do you see how that's a little time consuming? Just a little bit. Um, so eventually, I did upgrade to my laser printer, which I absolutely love because basically you can print and go. And... That comes in handy because especially when you're first starting, you make a lot of mistakes or accidents happen, water slides rip, they tear, you drop them on your lap, whatever the case is, and it there is nothing more frustrating than you just spending 10 minutes to print your image and an hour sealing your image for it to tear. I want to stub my, I'd rather stub my toe, okay? <laughs> So having a laser printer did come in handy. It does come in handy, especially as your business grows and you're doing a lot of work. Invest in it, okay? Okay, so Sunny Scopa is the water slide paper that I use for laser printers. Now, you, there is plenty of water slide paper brands out there. There's multiple of them on Amazon. Find the one you like. I've never had an issue with Sunny Scopa. I love it. it. My water slides never tear, but some people, they don't like it. So, and that's okay. Just like glitter, just like epoxy, just like anything else. I start with one. If it doesn't work for you, don't just give up. Just try a different brand. Okay, moving on to the next. Okay, so another tip with white water slide paper. White water slide paper is the devil. <laughs> I personally do not like white water slide paper. I very rarely use it. I will print on white 651 before I print on white water slide paper. And that is because white water slide paper is very, very thin and tears very easily. And sometimes the image comes off the paper very easily. So a little tip. Even if you have a laser printer and you do not have to seal your water slides, I still seal my white water slides, okay? So I know some of you are like, but Jessica, you just told me that that's the 
plus of having a laser. I know, I know. And it is a plus, guys, because you don't have to seal your clear water slides at all. And that's what you're going to be using 90% of the time. I guarantee it. But with that white water slide paper, just seal it one time. Just a ch -ch -ch nice, easy seal one time. And it will, it's like night and day, guys. Try it. Don't seal one. Seal and seal one and then tell me what you think, okay? And honestly, guys, it's as easy as that. Water slides are so much fun. Don't be nervous. If I have a lot of beginner tumbler makers out there, do not be nervous to try water slides. I, for some reason, when I first started, I know I was. I don't even know why. I don't even know why. I think just because it was different. It was like, it was like witchcraft. I was like, uh-uh, why are you dipping paper into water? What? No, I'll, I'll just stick to my silhouette. <laughs> but try it. It is so easy, so simple. And then once you do it, you're going to fall in love with it. And you're going to want to water slide everything because it is so simple to do. So don't be nervous, guys. If you want to see live tutorials of me doing this entire cup, make sure you're in Misfit Makers because we have a bunch of lives saved in our group all about doing water slides, tips, tricks. I have my printers in there. I will post the links to my printer down below, my HP and my inkjet, just so you guys have them. If you guys want more of an exclusive group, if you're needing some one-on-one -on -one help, if you're just struggling, uh, you know, with anything, water slides, decals, epoxy, whatever it is, maybe our mentorship group is the place for you. We have signups going on at the beginning of every single month, and we would love to have you. Our mentorship is a great community, great support system, and we are always growing. So check it out. I will also link that below, but that is Misfit Makers Besties. And I hope this little short water slide tutorial helped you guys. If you have any questions, you can comment them below. Toodles! All right, I wanted to show you the final product after they have been epoxied. Look at that shine. <laughs> all right, check out our website. The link is below. And I wanted to say thank you to all of our current besties again. Thank you. We couldn't do it without you.